Hey everybody! Welcome back to Northern Lion Plays, The Planning of Isaac Rebirth. I gotta make sure I'm formatting this writing properly. There we go. Alright, great run last run. That was our eighth win. No big deal. Don't really start to stress out about it until we get over ten. We're not gonna have the loss. We're gonna have Maggie. Maggie gets a shit rap, man. A lot of people dislike Maggie. I don't know why I am not amongst them. Eight. Roger, nine or nine. N, four, six, D. Nice for six dicks. That's what I said the last time I looked at the hat of a traditional medieval jester. Anyway, um, I, uh, I don't know why I don't dislike Maggie more. I would rather play Maggie than play Eve, and I mean that sincerely. Which you'd think would be weird, as the guy who last episode said, HP, that only matters if you get a hit. What an idiot. Um, but Maggie's only strength is really her HP, and yet somehow I find myself consistently having half decent runs with her. I mean, not to do my own horn, but we've been having some pretty good runs in general over the past month and a half or so. Uh, but either way, you know, it's, uh, it's weird. I will say that I'm actually pretty excited to have deck of tarot cards right off the bat here. We'll pick up a justice card, and that's going to sort out any consumable related issues we might have right off the bat here. And the earlier in the game that we get deck of tarot cards, the more I actually am liable to like it. If I could, uh... Oh man, I really was just about to say that exact series of events, but I didn't know how to put it into word-related forms. Let me trade my HP at a black market. Nope. Okay. Well, just a treasure chest, but it's a treasure chest we did not have earlier. That's like just wrapping up a piece of shit and putting it under the Christmas tree. Like a time delayed fuck you. Like it just makes my life harder. You go, oh boy, a present, and then it's mom's eye. Cool. I mean, mom's eye, it's, it's objectively positive. But it, it's objectively positive in the same way that like, you know, having one more french fry is objectively positive when you already have a hundred. I mean, I feel like... You know what? No, that's, that's a bad analogy. I, there was an analogy to work with there. But here's what it's more like. It's more like you're, you've, someone's told you that you've won a prize, and then when you get it, it's the worst prize that they actually offered. Now, the optimists amongst you, the glass is half full people, which is actually what I am for the most part, but the glass is half full people are going to say, well, it's a prize you didn't have before. But yeah, but in your head, you know, you rolled up the rim, you were thinking Jeep Grand Cherokee, but instead you just got a free donut and or coffee. It's not the same thing. A lot of people out there probably saying, what the fuck is he talking about? Roll up the rim? Roll up what rim? Something to do with the spinners? Something to do with spinners, Northern Line? No. Nothing to do with, it's Tim Hortons. It's a Canadian coffee chain uh, that has merged with Burger King. I can't remember if it was like a Burger King bought Tim Hortons. It doesn't matter. They, they, both, they both suck. I've eaten a lot of both of them. I'm not proud of it. I still do. I'll eat Burger King now and then. Give me some chicken fries, some saddest fries, and I will leave fat and tired. But... I guess we'll just go fight our boss right here. I'm, I'm kind of tempted to just uh, not even explore the rest of this floor because it's already taken us a long time. We're probably not going to hit five cents anyway. That's an important threshold for us if we really want to get a uh, blood bank. But I don't really care that much about the blood bank right now. I'm mostly just concerned about getting a deal with the devil on the next floor. So I'd really rather just have the, the cash to be able to buy a spirit heart. But whatever. We'll see. We'll see. Now, the most important thing here, don't give me HP. I don't give two S's and a P 500 about uh, getting extra HP here. If we get extra HP, please bundle it with something a little bit more useful. Perhaps give me a meat or a magic mushroom or, you know, something that is not a food item. You know, you could give me like a squeezy or something like that or, you know, I'd, I'd take it. I'm not going to be mad about a squeezy if you're going to give me a squeezy. Just don't give me like breakfast, dinner or, uh, I don't know, super bandage would be fine as well. The spirit heart would be very useful. Matchbook. It's it's not very good. I'm gonna go though. It's not very good, except for the fact that we had no bombs and it gives us a black card, which might make it the most useful item for us right now. <laughs> now we have four HP. We can uh, we can keep an eye on that. Mentally speaking, we can keep our mind's eye on that, if you will. We can keep our bonds eye on that, if you will. Judgment card could be very useful. We just picked up like maybe 17, 18 cents out of that chest. It's ridiculous. Uh, judgment card is dope. I'm very happy to have it. I hope that it's not a... Well, it would be simpler if it were not a demon judgment. If it's a demon judgment, we can do it, but on a Curse of the Unknown, that's not so fantastic, but... Um, 
We, we can make do with it, no question about that. We've really got to try to avoid taking damage here. We only have one black card. Juicy Sack is acceptable. This is like a reunion of the items we had last run. It is a Demon Judgment. I don't think it counts as red heart damage, but still, I want to hold off. I find myself wanting to hold off a little bit. See what we get in our actual deal with the Devil first, assuming we get one. I am looking for Tinted Rocks. I would very much, you know, endeavor to find some. Extra Spirit Heart never hurt anybody, or hey, maybe here's plus one damage for you. That'd be fine by me as well. Don't mind if I do. Don't think we're going to find a crawl space there, but maybe worth a shot. And it's the Dingle Fights. Which actually, because we have Juicy Sag, I think the Dingle Fight is pretty good here. Um, we can just keep him nearly perpetually slowed when he spawns uh, Little Dings. Which is not the actual names of them, but is the show that I'm going to be trying to push to Nick Jr. this fall. Um, we'll be able to uh, generate some spiders, but as of right now, we haven't really had the opportunity to get that done. Actually, it's, this is an infestation too. I think we'll just randomly spawn spiders on, on hit sometimes. Oh shit. Almost put myself in a terrible position there. Really, the, the Dingle fight is not hard. We just have no damage dealing potential right now. Which is really what we're hoping this deal with the devil is going to right outside your door now rectify. Or even the boss item for that matter. Yeah, Coat Hanger helps. And we get Whore of Babylon, which is not particularly strong as Maggie with a lot of HP, but has this really strange synergy, and it's very fortunate for us that we managed to do things this way. Uh, we can actually now completely ignore the fact that we have Curse of the Unknown and get it, the advantage of uh, Whore of Babylon by playing this Demon Judgment. Who would have thought? Lucky us. We don't have to worry until it says, you know, it's a terrible night to have a curse. And there it is right there. And we got Ceremonial Robes to back it up. That's like the perfect timing for that item to come out. So we don't have to worry about our HP. Uh, our Red Hearts are low, but that's by design. And we picked up some extra damage in the process as well. And we're going to have the opportunity to take advantage of this for sure. And we're going to have the opportunity to go to our shop. It's Everything's coming up pretty Melhousian right now, if you ask me. Uh, I don't really know where we should bomb here. I mean, it's the secret room is very unlikely to be over there by that curse room. It's pretty obvious where it's most likely to be here. Don't want to pick that up. And now we're doing some real damage. Yeah, this is a, a nice turnaround for us. We picked up a sun card. But that's not the secret room. Thank you for not being full health, at least. Uh, the sun card is useful. We don't want it immediately. Uh, we'll take the... Spirit Heart, and we'll take the 9 Volt, and we get Wheel of Fortune. I will place down the Wheel of Fortune, and I will play it thusly to get Spirit Hearts or perhaps better Trinkets. Really don't want that Lover's card, I'll tell you that much. What do you got for me? You got something. I can feel it coming in the air tonight. Nothing. Alright. Blow it up. Pick up that. And now we gotta go find, like, our real secret room. And now I'm like, shit, did I blow it? <laughs> Was it actually right here? Alright, well, at least we didn't blow that. Although we did just use, like, an extra bomb to do it, so... Fuck me, I guess. What about over here? At this point, I recognize that this is not a good use of our bombs, but I, I can't say no. I gotta know where it is. There it is. Weird placement. That's alright, it happens. And, uh, as a result of our, our digging there, we did pick up... A moon card, which is kind of funny, because we are already in the secret room, and, you know, we want to take the sun card down to the next floor, probably. Three pills. I can see forever. That'll help us find our second secret room. Range down. And bad gas. It's actually good. You know what? We can't. I mean, we can, but I don't want to. I would have loved for that to be a black heart or something like that, but I, I really don't want to get pulled out of the Horror of Babylon state. We don't know when the next time we'll be able to get back into it reliably is, and we need this extra damage. Curse of the Blind, very dangerous. No question about that. Potentially, we could take some items that would really screw us over here, but I'm going to try to be, like, easygoing about it, because we don't really have any uh, control over it, you know? So, if we're going to... Pick up an HP upgrade that fucks up our Horror of Babylon state, so be it. I'm not going to bypass items because that's... I don't know. I don't like playing the game that super cautious Lee. Um, instead, we're going to we're gonna play the same way we always play, and we're going to hope that it works out 
for us. And, you know, mostly what I'm hoping for is that we actually get, like, a guppy's paw or something like that. And we can reliably get rid of our red hearts if necessary. Ah, that was, don't even talk to me about that. Um, we can reliably get rid of our red hearts if, uh, if possible. That was a, that was a great spot of AI right there. You got, you broke my brain. Straight up. I wish that, uh, I wish that I'd been smarter about that. We could have easily gotten out of that without taking damage. But the one dude fired, like, a warning shot that I thought was a bomb. And I thought it boxed me in. And then the other dude just came out over the top with, uh, a, a bomb and, it, like, literally boxed me in there. Okay, that's awesome. And I'm very happy to have the HP upgrade pills, even if we can't get, uh, really the, the benefit out of them yet. Mostly that's just a currency for a deal with the devil, you know, I don't, we basically, we bought a bond with that HP upgrade. We're never gonna spend that money. We're never gonna spend that bond. We're gonna, we're gonna take it to the government in like, you know, five years and get our 2%. Trade it away for some damage upgrades. The metaphor makes no sense. I don't know anything about financial markets, which is one of the reasons that metaphor made no sense. The other one is I don't know anything about the Binding of Isaac. Two of diamonds. This is good. Um... In fact, good enough for us to maybe abandon the sun card for it. I know that seems ridiculous, but we really, really don't want HP. Yet. There might come a time when it's necessary for us to, to do that, to keep ourselves alive. But for right now, I would much rather never use the sun card than have to use the sun card. And this two of diamonds pill, all we need is like a pageant boy drop here, and then two of diamonds pretty much... Oh, come on with that. Pretty much guarantees us, like, as much money as we could need for the rest of the shops in the game. Maybe. If we get lucky. It's amazing, uh, you wouldn't think of, you know, that this was that big of a deal, but the fact that there's those rocks on the edges of this map, it really makes the map a lot tighter. It makes it difficult to get out of the way of those, those eyes. No deal with the devil. Synth oil, awesome. Synth oil pickup is huge there. Let's try this. This is a shop. Tell you what. I'm gonna blow this up. We got a decent amount of money. Ten cents. I don't think uh, I don't think ten cents is where I'm gonna need this. That sentence made no sense as well. I don't think ten cents is where I want to be to use two of diamonds. Basically, I really don't. Well, I mean, I could use the tower card to blow up the donation machine some more, but um, I think I'd I'd be compromising if I used two of diamonds right now. There we go. We already got up to twenty-two cents. And everything on top of this is just gravy. I would love to get enough though to be able to buy. Uh, both items in our shop and not worry about the fact that they were 15 cents, you know Death card. We'll just pop that like yeah, you know these guys are annoying enough For me to feel okay about that Soy milk. Oh, that's this is the run destroyer when it comes to curses of the uh, blind All right, so now things become very interesting, but we have whore of Babylon and we have spiders we really, really, really can't afford to lose Horror Babylon now. Because we're actually... This is some of the highest damage I think I've ever seen myself do with Soy Milk. And I mean that sincerely. Even this early. And there's other synergies that can work really, really well with Soy Milk as well. We gotta just be cool about it, though. We, we really, really cannot lose Horror Babylon. Right now. There might come a time when we'll be able to compensate for it. But that, that time is not yet. Terrible damage. That was terrible damage. Alright, so I think we blow up our donation machine. I know there's another thing we could use a key on up here, but I think we blow up our donation machine. One more time. We're gonna celebrate. Aw, oh, yeah. Alright, we're gonna start the dancing, perhaps. And then, um... I think I'll... I'll blow up the donation machine instead of looking for the secret room. If it gives us more than one... More than two cents, we'll be able to, uh buy both items and maybe we'll get a candle or something out of that which would be extremely helpful considering you know I don't dislike the tarot cards right now but it would be very nice to you know be able to a blank card is pretty good too blank card BFFs oh that BFFs good for our familiars but not very good for our spiders anyway we have blank card sun card right now which seems pretty awesome we'll, we'll move down it's weird obviously I'm hoping for some sweet blank card Yara rune synergy but for now, I think we can pretty much just be happy that uh, we're not dead. <laughs> like, that's that's a pretty nice start for us. The soy milk pickup is extremely dangerous, of course, but uh, there are items that can make this work. You know, lump of coal can help out a lot. Any form of penetrative shots, but ideally... Um, ideally, 
not dead onion. Because the, the low shot speed is going to nerf our range a little bit more than I'd like it to. But you can see, like, you know, this is not one of those soy milk runs where it takes us 80 shots to kill an enemy. It probably takes us, like, 30. But we fire 30 shots pretty quickly, so it's not the end of the world. Yet. And truth be told, you know, this is, this is what I like to do. I like these weird runs. I like being forced, you know, kind of my back against the wall. We definitely don't want that. Um... And, and I like to come out on the other side a little bit stronger and a little bit prouder. But we got to work for this one. There's no question about that. Spiders are helping. And uh, <laughs> if we didn't pick up Horror of Babylon, originally I was like, ugh, Horror of Babylon. Now I'm like, fuck, thank God for Horror of Babylon. Or we would be in a very, very not good place. And that is the, as, as elegant as my diction gets the, about stuff like that. We will try to, you know, return for our curse room at some point in the near future. Another big problem with uh, soy milk is definitely knockback related. These enemies take a uh, a huge amount of displacement when we hit them, but they also don't live that long, so you can live with it. Cartridge is okay. Uh, not not enough impetus here to get me to take it over Mom's eye, which is helping out occasionally. Really would like to buy a spirit heart. That's the thing with Horror of Babylon. If you still got red hearts, you gotta supplement them. Taurus is is speed downgrade, but the invincibility is going to be nice. And the extra damage from it, truth be told. Yeah, I feel like I've been saying truth be told a lot in this episode. I don't know. Oh, shit. That might be our last actual HP. Oh, I really do not want to use the sun card. If that was greed, I was going to do it. I'm thinking, okay? I think we're gonna have to say that we're gonna use the Sun card. I hate it because it's gonna ruin our damage. It's gonna be so terrible. But, it's gonna keep us alive and we can always get back to the Whore of Babylon state. The only thing that would fuck us out of the Whore of Babylon state is dying. But we could maybe buy a Spirit Heart here. Okay, we can buy a Spirit Heart here. I am I desire Red Candle. But I love the blank card as well, so that's a little bit of a tough call. But for now, we don't have to use the Sun card, so we can stay in our Horror of Babylon state, and we should have a pretty good deal with the Devil Chance here. Not guaranteed by any stretch of the imagination, but a pretty good deal with the Devil Chance. Of course, a lot of that relies on not getting hit, but... Come on, spiders. This is your time. This is your time to shine. Don't let me down here. Don't let me down. It wasn't intended to be a song there at the start, but it just kind of accidentally became one. All right, so it takes us forever to get a Taurus payout, but there we go. We do get a deal with the devil. Pageant Boy was one floor too late to be maximally useful, but that's okay. No Krampus or Lump of Coal. Okay, 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 okay. Well, we want to lose our HP. I know that sounds ridiculous, but if we lose our HP, then I can actually use... um. I can use the sun card effectively as a compass. So we'll take both of those, even though it sounds ridiculous. And I'm just, I'm out of here, man. Fuck this curse of the unknown. No curse of the blind on this floor, though, please. Alrighty. <laughs> See, me and the game, we we fuck with each other, you know? It's, it's a nice little arrangement. Totally two-sided. Blind card, tower card? How about we just use the tower card? Health up. I want that. I do want that. Range down. I don't want that. Health up. I do want that. Because if we use, if we have to get into our sun card situation, we want to be in a situation where we get as much HP out of the sun card as possible. Again, it's very weird. You want all of it or none of it, you know? With Horror of Babylon. Forgot these guys kind of charge you down. Um, but that's okay. Because right now we have none of it, but we have a very flexible opportunity, if we have to, to go for all of it. Pinky Eye, probably much better than Mom's Eye in this situation. I'm not fucking with you when I say that, like, the ideal item for us is almost certainly, um, Guppy's Paw. Because it effectively gives us the map and compass as well with this blank card, sun card situation. Plus, who knows what we could get out of it later, right? You blank card Yeru room, blank card, uh, Hierophant, something like that. Um, but it, basically it gives us... A ton more HP, guaranteed Horror of Babylon state, a guppy item, and map plus compass effect. Or the ability to guilt free use map and compass, which is, you know, valuable in and of itself. 
Beyond that, I mean, there's probably a lot of items that would work, but I don't want to necessarily hypothesize what those would or would not be. I will admit, for all the shit that Soymel gets, it's awesome at putting out fires and shooting poops. These fires are annoying. It puts them out lickety-split, you know, faster relative to its shitty damage than any item in the game, I think. So we can just, like, bounce back and forth like that. Oh, yeah. Oh, this is the good stuff right here. Taurus takes so long to work that I actually forgot we had it, but that's okay. We are going to try to blow up. I don't think we can get more than four in one hit. We only got... Oh, we got four there. That's okay. And we got blank card. Blank card rules card. Blank card judgment. I will blank card this judgment right now. It's a demon judgment. So we actually could use the sun card here, but I'd rather wait for a blank card <laughs> charge. It sounds ridiculous. We also have nine volt, by the way, so it's only going to take three rooms, which is pretty sweet. But it means that sharp plug won't work with it. But anyway, um... Blank card, sun card next, and then lose our HP playing that demon judgment, and we get to find out where the secret room is, you know, we get some item payouts. Hopefully demon judgment doesn't pay out too fast for us to get back into the, the Horror of Babylon state, but we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. Is there an arc? Ah, oh, there's a chance for an arcade on the next floor, so it wouldn't be the end of the world necessarily. Shouldn't be the end of the world at all, I guess. Might want to fight the boss. Ah, no, it's better for us to use the sun card when we have the most HP we do. Or we can. Not going to be having any boss rush here. Well, we are going to fight the boss first, I guess. War. Uh, so we'll pick up a cube of meat here. Which might not seem that good, but it's actually okay. Because we'll, uh, we'll be able to use that, synergistically speaking, with Taurus to get more damage done to enemies. We're about to have our Taurus charge here as well. I, I'm moving so quickly. There we go. Just in time to not be able to do very much damage. Come on. Oh, fuck. <laughs> what a pain in the ass. Well, the good news is we're fast now. Oh, no. We're still slow. That's... When I, meant, when I said good news, what I meant is the worst fucking news ever. But actually, we have knockback from soy milk, so we'll be fine. That's going to be a cube of meat, obviously. Whatever this is, we're taking it. This is actually... I, one of the things I actually enjoy is getting a, um, a Krampus fight on a Curse of the Blind because it's the best time to have it. There's no risk to taking his item. If it's if it's Krampus' head, we just don't touch it. I mean, we touch it, but then we, we put it back down. There's no, uh, no problems. That was just me moving way too fast. Stupid play. Lump of coal. Big plays. Bad gas. Not very meaningful. All right, so before we do... Oh, don't get hit, thank God. Um, I guess we do want to go, uh, we want to go Sun Card here. We can find our secret room easily as a result. We will try to get the maximum play out of this that we can. What's our other card down here? Judgment. Oh, it's, we could use that actually. I wouldn't mind getting like a regular Judgment and maybe snagging some HP. He paid out too early, man. What about this Judgment? Another, okay, we're safe. He gave us Speed Ball. I guess the, the Demon Judgment, one of his item pools is syringes. Oh, that's not good. Okay. Uh, maybe come back here for a sec. Just pick this up just to be safe. And he paid out too early. I should have played him faster. Anyway, uh, rules card. Some doors require a blessing. Carry them with you. That would be the, the key prompt, I think. Now, we're out of our Whore of Babylon state. And we don't have much HP. It's really the worst of both worlds here. But we picked up some syringes, and uh, we can always, you know, rage use this sun card if we have to. And lump of coal should actually allow us to be quite potent here. I don't know why, but all of a sudden, I don't know about that. All of a sudden, we're actually doing quite a lot of damage. Like we we can test it here. We like one shot him there. I think lump of coal might have might have saved the run here if it if it needed saving but we don't want to use our sun card again it's bait you know if you're saying northern line I can't see the shots look I can't see the shots either I gotta kind of just eyeball it <laughs> hope for the best <laughs> um, but this this is I don't want to call it a one run because it's a bit of a, a weird situation an unusual one for sure but it's it's winnable there's no question about that I don't think anyone would even argue that. I don't know what the heck I would want in here. <laughs> More keys, I guess. <laughs> sure. I would really hope for a spirit heart, I guess. Question marks, my favorite. Daddy Long Legs is a great item. Just a just a flat out great item. 
If we're already not at the Horror of Babylon state, we might as well pick up the HP that we find. Correct me if I'm wrong. I don't really see the, the negatives associated with it. In fact, we might as well use the Sun card like as soon as we get... As soon as right now. Uh, maybe we don't need to use it right now. But I was thinking like we want to do it so that we uh, can keep our HP alive. Well, we can definitely go into our curse room now. Probably shouldn't have shot that, but truth be told, it doesn't matter all that much. Flies and pills. Sounds like my typical lunch hour. That was really nice. I'm glad we got that. Yeah, okay. I'm, st I'm starting to feel the flexibility of this run. For sure. I am very much looking forward to getting back in the Horror of Babylon state if we can make that happen. That's why I'm not spending more money. We can spawn an arcade on the next floor. But if we have to roll this uh, no Horror of Babylon, I think we can do it. Like, you can see the damage that we're doing with a, with a lot of help, admittedly. But still, we're, we're doing some good stuff here. Occasional Taurus help. I really thought we'd be able to push that in the proper direction in time. I think this might be fine. Certainly weird, you know, not a usual path to success. But here we are, and we're doing okay. Really, really want to give it our all to secure a deal with the devil on the next floor, because I would love to just do it the more traditional way. Um, we'll use our sun card right out the bat. And there is an arcade, which is amazing for us, but we're going to try to get to our shop as soon as possible. And the reason that I want to get that shop done is to maybe get a spirit heart and give ourselves uh, the slightest chance of getting a deal with the devil. But we've already fucked it a little bit, so uh, it doesn't matter as much anymore. We might as well just come fight our mini boss. Might as well pick this up once. I think it's a shitty pill. I think it's bad gas. Luck up. Oh, it's, a, it's actually a fantastic pill, and I'm sorry I besmirched its good name. So we, yeah, we've ruined our deal with the devil chance slightly by um, like taking red heart damage, but that's okay. I'm getting more and more attached to the idea that it actually doesn't matter. I should have gone to our arcade first because we could have made best use possible of this blank card full health situation, which is what we pretty much got going on. If you want to get, if you want to distill it down to its basis principles. Okay, we gotta take out as many of these motherfuckers as we can. Good enough. Good enough. <laughs> it was close. Item room is Sagittarius, a huge pickup for us. Really, really incredible pickup um, that is going to help us a lot when it comes to dealing with rooms with multiple enemies. Especially if we're actually dealing a decent amount of damage with our shots. This is our Polyphemus right here. Now, uh, this room I don't think is it means anything for us. Definitely no reason to fight the boss right away. We'll go back and explore the uh, arcade. Bombs are key. Oh, yeah, maybe we've already entered the rooms that we needed to spend uh, keys on. And then inside of our secret... Oh, well, now I don't feel so smart. <laughs> but we don't need this golden chest. Yet, anyway. Alright, we got a key out of it anyway. I don't think we want Liberty Cap. I think we're doing pretty well with the poison damage, so I'd like to stick with it. Oh, two extra bombs here. I didn't notice. Okay, let's start making our way back towards that uh, arcade. We're either going to end this in the Horror of Babylon state, or we're going to end this... Uh, with a lot of money and maybe even a blood bag or something like that, but we'll see. I'm very interested to see how this shakes out. Because rooms like this, like the Sagittarius pickup is so huge here. What is this card? Chariot. Ah, uh, that might even be better than the Sun card for what we're about to do. But we can use them in conjunction with one another. Like, we probably want to take the Sun card down to the next floor, but the Chariot card here could be awesome. No demon judgment. That's unfortunate. Come on. Come on. Come on. Ah, nope. uh, there we go. That was... Honestly, that was beautiful. <laughs> I'm going to keep using our uh, our sun card from this point onwards, but, uh, you know, there we go. What's, what's done is done there. Who would have thought soy milk low damage could still somehow churn out enough damage to actually make me feel confident in this run? And we're getting Taurus like crazy now, super quickly. What's up with that? That's why I'm trying to move back and forth as quickly as possible here. Because if we can start every room with a Taurus charge, you know, that just weakens the enemies even more so Soy Milk can, can run the train on him. I think this is a one run. I think this bullshit Soy Milk run is going to be a, a relatively easy win. And I know that sounds ridiculous. And I think we're going to besmirch the good name of, uh, of uh, Horror of Babylon in the process. 
I think I'm better off, not well, maybe not better off. I would still love to get uh, Guppy's Paw, but I think we're going to be totally fine with or without uh, Horror of Babylon. Good stuff. Daddy Longlegs, of course, helping. I don't know, is BFF uh, Demon Baby helping? Probably doesn't hurt. Spirit Hearts? Sometimes they'll give me Spirit Hearts. This is Spirit Heart. No deal with the devil. I'm getting used to it by now. We definitely still need the Polaroid. Let's not be stupid about it. And it's not set in stone yet, but uh, this is a good start. Let's figure out where we're going and how we're going to get there. And the secret room is along the way. Taurus is ready already. Nice. That is majestic. Range downgrade. Not that excited about that. Look at it. This is our damage without Horror of Babylon, man. This is real. This might be the highest damage I've ever done with soy milk. I mean, it's not blowing the doors off of the whole run, but, I mean, it, it's better than you usually get with soy milk. It's better than you'd expect to get with soy milk. I think, at least. I'm, I'm happy with it. Oh, there's Taurus. It's weird. We kind of get, like, a low hum whenever Taurus is ready. It's very ominous. Oh, whoom. This is a situation where we're being... Like, 20% carried by five different items. It's it's lovely. I guess that's not really a carry in that case, but I know people will still see it that way. We can make it. We can make it. No no problem at all. Okay, this would be huge. Let's get into that Whore of Babylon state, y'all. Whore of Babylon 2015. 25th dream. Doesn't really make any sense. Ooh, lucky me. Poison is, I think, an absolute damage, so that might be what's helping us out here. I would love to be able to fly. Sure. Why not? All right, well, down to the next floor. It doesn't look like Gubby's Paw is going to happen, but here we are on our low HP soy milk run. Living life. Living it up, not giving an F. I'm glad we got another key back there. All right, we have a mob, or sorry, a boss trap room. We have a secret room. We have a curse room, and I must admit, with my Guppy's Paw aspirations, the curse room is tempting, but I think the odds are bad enough for us that I really just don't want to... I don't want to try for it. Because it'll cost us something in the in the interim period. <laughs> Look, I'll admit, this, uh, this blood bag is very tempting. Like a siren in the cold waters of the Aegean Sea. But uh, I, I worry. I worry that uh, it'll be the death of me. That's what I'm looking for, more along the lines right there. Uh, we can get back in the Whore of Babylon state this way. Try it on for size, if you will. We can also come back this way. Maybe there's some red chests in this general area. We can always get ourselves out of this if it looks particularly troublesome. How's our damage now? Uh, that's got to be Daddy Longlegs, right? Like, that wasn't us that just did that amazing amount of damage there. Not that our damage sucks, because our damage is looking pretty sweet right now. Yeah, that is actually pretty incredible. I don't know, man. I'm liking the Horror of Babylon. We can always opt out at a later date if we so choose uh, with this Sun card. I don't know what I'm hoping for this to pay out with. And this happens in every comments, or it happens in all the comments, but um, rest assured... You can't play the Blood Bank when you're in permanent Polaroid invincibility. It'll still hurt you. Ah, uh, maybe that's not true. Maybe I'm an idiot. I was thinking it, it, that's definitely how it works with the IV bag. For now, I'm just playing it safe. That's what I get for having a pompous attitude right off the start there. I might have been wrong there. Do some research yourself. Live life. Enjoy it. Drink milk. Love life. Drink milk. Life. It's a Canadian. It's just Canadian things. I mean, I'm loving the damage, but I can't help but feel that maybe I'm getting a little bit too up on the damage as a result of the fact that, you know, Daddy Longlegs is carrying the shit out of me and Taurus is carrying the shit out of me. And I'm like, oh, look at how strong I am, but I'm not actually that strong. But there's no real reason for us to pop out of the Whore of Babylon state until we uh, need the HP back. Which may not happen, and if so, we might as well benefit from having the extra damage then. That's my philosophy on it, at least. Definitely got to hit all these. There we go. That makes the rest of the room a lot easier. And we're not melting mom, but it's going pretty well. 
And that's the kind of thing that can happen, I guess, when you fire like a hundred shots a second, but... Let's, uh, let's head on up here. Admittedly, I kind of want to pop the compass, a aka the, the sun card here, right away. Just to see, um, where the F we're supposed to be going, but... These are all free rooms, as long as I don't do that. And we're definitely playing fast and loose here, but... I like it, man. Pretty fly. Luck up. We want as many chests as we can get, for sure. Uh, when we get down to the chest, we may actually need them, and I mean that sincerely. Like, it's going really well right now. But it doesn't take too much of a turn for this run to really uh, shit itself, you know? We have two HP and then a half heart backing us up. That's not that much. Don't really want that. The, the reason I'm hesitating so much to make this choice with the sun card is that once it's gone, we can't get it back. You know, we, we are very unlikely to find a blood bank, or pretty unlikely at least. Pretty unlikely to find a uh, demon judgment. It can happen, of course. I just think it probably won't. Alright, cool it, cool it, cool it. We're just gonna tackle this the old-fashioned way. Nice. Apparently the old-fashioned way is playing chicken with a demonic possessed horse. Clearly, you guys haven't read your history textbooks lately, because I'm pretty sure that's how it went down. Keys might come in handy, may not, you never know. Happy to have them. Would like for you to be just deceased. Yeah, I should, maybe I should focus less on uh, trying to bump into them as many times as possible, and more on actually uh, hitting them with the orbital as much as I can. Really disappointed with this one. Should be pretty clear that I was hoping for a... Uh, a spirit heart out of that tinted rock. And instead, they shit on my dreams! Get out of there. This is not the right place to stand. That's alright. We could have absorbed that hit, but we got pretty lucky. Uh, I'll, I'll admit that that was not where I should have been, though. I don't think we're going to take damage here. I'm amazed. Please, please, please don't give me curse of fucking blindness. I demand respect. <laughs> I demand respect! Take me seriously! I don't know. That's like Millhouse Mana Storm or something. You'll be hearing from my lawyer! Okay. Technology 1, plus soy milk. Isn't that amazing? PhD will give us HP. Um, I'm gonna take technology just because it's ridiculous at this point. And if it ruins our run, it ruins our run. But look at this, we got like a sustained laser. That seems to be doing shit damage. <laughs> <laughs> but, it's a laser that never stops firing, so I'm pretty happy about that. We can always use PhD if we need some more HP. And really, our, our tears are kind of just like the... I mean, I don't even want to say they're the icing on the cake. They're just not that meaningful, because, you know, we kill pretty much every enemy with Taurus, and the ones that we don't kill, Daddy Longleg swoops in and gets the, you know, the easy work done at the end. But I am a little disappointed with the damage we're doing here. We've got like a, I was gonna say, there's gotta be a pin party. We're gonna be pin pals here. Wrong kind of chest, unfortunately. Uh, you know, I think one of the reasons we're doing so much damage is because that weird BFF pickup on our shop is actually going to set us up uh, with a cube of meat that does 1.5 times the damage of a normal cube of meat. Which means that when we come to, I mean, it already does like a fuck ton of damage. But then when we've got um, the unicorn horn effect from Taurus bumping in on top of it, it's just like, it's crazy the speed at which we're able to take these enemies out when we walk into them. I mean, we should probably kill Gluttony first. I don't really care who we kill last if Sloth isn't on the board. But we didn't, and we fucked it up a little bit, but that's okay. Alright, let's see how quickly we can kill these guys. Quickly enough, for sure. Alright, let's finish the job here. I mean... I'll probably end up popping the sun card the first time we get hit. Just because I can't really see a reason why not to. Like, look at that BFF cube of meat just took off like 80% of his HP. Now, Daddy Longlegs was in there, and the effect from the the Taurus effect was in there somewhere. But yeah, basically, fuck you, game. You give me Curse of Blindness, you give me Soy Milk, you think that can hold me down? I don't think so, buddy. We just won. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, click the like button. It helps out a great deal. And of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. But for now, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.